In today's lecture, we want to continue to talk about measuring the economy. So what are the topics that we want to talk about today? We want to answer the following questions. Is there any other measurements for a nation's economic performances in addition to GDP? What is the difference between income and wealth? What is the use of private saving? How to compare the upper value of a nation across time? And how to characterize the living standard of a nation? Finally, we want to address, is there any techniques that needed for showing the data? So then the outline for today is as follows. We are going to talk about the measurements other than GDP. We will talk about GMP, national income, and private disposable income. We will also talk about the concept of stock versus flow, and then we will talk about savings and wealth. And then we will talk about the use of private savings, and then we will talk about different versions of GDP. We talk about GDP versus GDP per capita. We will talk about nominal GDP versus real GDP. Toward the end, we were going to talk about two techniques for showing the data. One is the rule of thumb. That is called rule of 72. Sometimes we call it the rule of 70. The other is the technique that we use quite a lot when we want to tell the growth rate from a plotting a time series, and that is the use of the log scale plot. And let's begin with today's lecture. Now let's look at the first measurement that is called GMP. The GMP represents the gross national product. The G here means the total market value created. The N here means the national owned factor of production. The P here is about how much is produced. So the definition of the GMP is the market value of final goods and services newly produced by domestic factor of production during some specific period of time. So if you may recall from what we learned about GDP, the GDP is more focused on the geographical limit. We say that the GDP is the total market value created within a country's border. Of course, it is also about the final goods and services newly produced and also during some specific period of time. Therefore, we know that the difference between the GDP and GMP is that for the GMP, we care about the goods that is produced by the national owned factor of production. It is not limited to the geographical limit. It can be within the country border. It can be outside the country border. However, for GDP, as long as the goods are produced within the country border, we count all of them as the national income. So then, what will be the difference between the GMP and GDP? Let's look at that in equation. We say that the difference between GMP and GDP is called the net factor payment from abroad. We abbreviated it as NFP. In here, if we look at the detail about the net factor payment from abroad, we say it is the factor payment from abroad minus the factor payment to abroad. So then we know that if we rearrange the equation, we are going to get the GMP equal to GDP plus the net factor payment from abroad. So then what does that mean? Let me show you a graph to illustrate this concept. So in here, we have country A. It has it's the goods that is produced within country A's country border, and that is country A's GDP. We also have country B, and the goods are produced within the country B's country border. It's called the country B's GDP. The last one is about country C. Well, the whatever goods that is produced within country C's border is called the country C's GDP. Now we have people that can move. So then we have the people from country A that goes from country B to country A and then produce goods inside the country A's border. So then when we want to compute the GDP 
of country A, then we need to include the contribution of this person that is from country B. However, if we want to compute the GMP, we need to take out this contribution because it is not the factor of production owned by country A. So then we need to take out the factor payment to abroad. In this case, it's the payment to people from country B. So for country A, it also have its citizens that work outside of its country border. So for example, that a person that goes to country C and work there. So then for computing the GDP for country A, we will not include the production of this person because he or she did not work within country A's country border. However, when we want to compute the GMP for country A, we know we need to include the production value created by this person in country C into country A's GMP. That is because this person, even though it, he or she moved from country A to C, that person still belongs to country A's citizen. Because of that, its creative value will count as country A's GMP. And that value is called the factor payment from abroad. Therefore, when we want to look at the GMP, it is the GDP, that is the, what is produced inside the circle black, plus the net factor payment, which is the factor payment from abroad, which is the black dot, minus the factor payment to abroad, which is the purple dot. And that becomes the GMP of country A. So now let's go through a practice about how to come up with the GDP and GMP in numbers. So the example is that we have Alex who is the citizen of country A. The value he created is 50. We have Beef, he is a citizen of country B and the value created equal 80. So then given that both of them work in country A, so we know the total value of the goods that is produced within country A's border will be 130. So then now if we want to come up with GDP, we say that the GDP will be the value created within country A's country border. So we add up the production of Alex and Babe, which equals 130. How about the GMP? We say that Alex is country A citizen, so its production value will become country A's GMP, which equals 50. For beef, that beef is the citizen of country B, so the value created by beef belongs to country B's GMP, which equals 80. So then what is the net factor payment for country A? The net factor payment from abroad for country A equals minus 80. That is because for country A, it doesn't have the its citizen working outside of its country border, but they have beef that is from foreign country that work in country A. Therefore, given that the net factor payment equals the net factor payment from abroad minus the net factor payment to abroad, therefore, in this case, it equals minus the payment to beef, which is minus 80. So then, from the formula of the relationship between GDP and GMP, we know that if we want to come up with GMP for country A, it equals the GDP of country A, which is the summing up value created by Alex and Beef, plus the net factor payment from abroad, which is in here minus the payment to Beef. So then it equals to the production value of Alex, which equals 50. So in here, we use another example to illustrate the relationship between GMP and GDP.